Hello everyone. So this tutorial will help us to map the course outcomes with the program outcomes. So let's get started. So if you see on my screen, the first sheet what I have is about the course outcomes and objectives. So on one table I write all the objectives of my course and the other, other table I list down all the course outcomes along with the knowledge levels of each and every outcome. So we make sure we have objective outcome here which are achievable. So once the outcomes are ready, then we can list the program outcomes. So totally we have 12 program outcomes as you see on the screen. And each and every program outcome is broken down into simplified statements called as competencies. And these simplified statements are domain specific. So it is really specific with respect to our department and it varies between each and every department. And each and every competency is again broken down into a list of performance indicators. The so performance indicators are just statements which will help us to evaluate the respective competency. So as you see, PO1 engineering knowledge has got four competencies 1.2, 1.5, 6, and 7. And in turn, 1.2, the competency has got two performance indicators 1.2.1 and 1.2.2. .2. So likewise, each and every competency will have related performance indicators. Now on my right hand side, I have a list of the CEOs. So as per this subject, I have eight CEOs. So I'll be comparing the statements of each and every CEO with respect to the performance indicator. And if it is possible for me to evaluate the students with respect to this performance indicator in this CEO, then I will mark it as S. So we have to make sure that we will be able to evaluate the student's knowledge on this CO based on this performance indicator. If that's the case, then we can make a match between the performance indicators and the course outcomes. So likewise, we can read through all the POs and all the competencies with respect to the performance indicators and then we can make a proper match. So once the match is done, then we can move to this sheet where we have a table where all the POs are listed and the second row of the POs, the first column I have TPIs which is nothing else but the total number of performance indicators that are mapped with PO1. For example, if I take PO1, totally I have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 PIs altogether. So that's what I have written here. So totally 5 PIs and the number of PIs that are mapped with CO1 with respect to PO1. So if I go back to the same sheet, according to this course, out of all pro performance indicators, I have only one performance indicator that maps with CO1. So that's what we have written here. So likewise, under PO1, we have only one performance indicator that maps with all the CO's in my course. So when I take PO2, so if you consider PO2, we have totally one, two, three, four, yeah, four competencies, and we have around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen performance indicators. So under PO2, we have fourteen performance indicators. So that's what mentioned here. So total PIs are mentioned here. And the number of PIs that are mapped with respect to CO1 and PO2. So if I take CO1 for the first column, this indicates CO1 for me. So if I see CO1 mapping with any one of the performance indicators out of that 14 is just one. So only one mapping exists there. The same goes for CO2. But when I see CO3, I have around 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, totally 4 performance indicator maps with CO3 and that is entered here. So if you see CO3, CO4, CO5, we have 4 performance indicators that are mapped, whereas CO1 and 2 and CO6, 7 have only 1 performance indicator mapped with CO2, whereas CO8 has 5 performance indicator that maps with PO2. So likewise, we can fill up all the columns here for all the 12 POs, PSO, if possible. So those PIs that are not at all mapped can be left blank here. And the third column, which is the mapping grade. 
So mapping grade is formulated in such a way that the ratio between the number of PIs that are mapped with respect to the total number of PIs. So if you see the formula here, the ratio between the map PIs and total PIs, if that is greater than or equal to 67, then we give a grade value of 3. If it is greater than or equal to 34, we give a grade value of 2. If it is greater than or equal to 1 till 33, then we give a grade value of 1. So your grade value lies in this interval from 1 to 33, we have a grade value of 1. From 34 to 66, we have a grade value of 2. And from 67 to 100, we have a grade value of 3. So likewise, the mapping can be enabled here. So once the mapping is done, then we can fill up this table, the overall mapping table. So here, if you take the first column, so this is exactly equal to E17, which is nothing else but this cell. So I can likewise, I can fill all the cells over here. So this is how we map the program outcomes with the course outcomes. So we need the course outcomes first with the help of the course outcomes. We will check the competencies and we will check the performance indicators. Read through the statements of the performance indicators to make a proper match between the course outcomes and the performance indicators. Once that is done, we can create a table that creates the ratio between the mapped PIs with respect to the total PIs. So with the help of that, we can finally get the total grade. Thank you for watching. If you have any queries, please comment in the comment section. I would like to help you out. Thank you.